Time to update my crosscut sled. And I think what I'm going to do to it, you might find very interesting. Hi, I'm Ron Polk, and this is my smart wood shop. Well, actually, this is my smart wood shop. If you want to get a set of plants to build a smart wood shop for yourself, one of the smart workbenches or any of the accessories that work with the system, there's a link in the description of this video down below. Crosscut sled. So I built this years ago. In fact, if I can find it, I will link the video where I show you how to build this right here. And that was in a shop that I had that was over 4,000 feet. It's going back a ways. You may want to take a look at it just to see the shop. Saw stop compact table saw. That is my exclusive, my only table saw that I have now. I've gone to it 100%. So this crosscut sled, which was originally made for uh, one of the larger portable DeWalt's. So this saw does everything I need a table saw to do. And so it's time to update. I got to thinking, well, how much do I use it? And that's where the fix, the light bulb came on. I don't need a crosscut sled. Crosscutting little stuff, I've got the miter saw. And let me show you this, what, what I do with it. So the way that I would put the sled on the table saw and set this up and push it through, the, what I like is that the material is stationary. I mean, it is moving, but it's the sled that's actually moving. So I get a really nice cut, very controlled, very safe. Well, the same thing is true here. The material doesn't move. It's stationary and I'm moving the blade through it. And so I have more control and it's, it's safe. So any small cross cuts, and actually I can go pretty big with this saw and again, the accuracy is second to none on the Capex. So, you know, I can, I can certainly, you know, make any cut that I could make with this. Plus with this, if I'm cross cutting thin but long, I have more support. So everything about this is better. There is the one thing when you're doing the small detail work and you're wanting to like not put a dado blade on, but you want to do a little, little dado. So you're going to make multiple cuts or you're not going to cut all the way through with this saw. It's so nice because I can flip this down. That's all there is to it. Once that's flipped down, you can see the blade doesn't go all the way down. I can cut shallower. You know, I don't need to try to hold the blade up. It's very accurate. So I can actually set this up. And with this dial, I can dial it right in easier than bending over and, you know, trying to see the table saw. Now that's, I've done that for years and that's great. And I'm not complaining about that. I'm just saying that's a solution that's fantastic, but I have a solution that I'm going to have miter saw it's an essential tool. It's, it's not optional. I'm going to have this. So I've got this tool and this tool because of this dial here that I can do the exact same thing. And in most cases, I actually am getting, I think, a better job here so I can work with small uh, pieces on this out to even a little bit wider. Because I'm on the top, I, another reason I prefer it I can see the whole blade and see where the cut is. Uh, and so by uh, like spacing, whatever, you know, if I put a spacer on and have the material out, now I can get a flat cut all the way through as well. So just, I just find I have more control and, and maybe it's just my style. I'm not saying that this is better. I'm saying for me, it's better. What do I do if I don't have this? What do I do? For the wider stuff. I already have a tool that I always have out. When I'm cutting wood, this tool is out. I use it all the time. And that is my cordless with bag. So I it's just all it's just, since I went to the cordless and stopped using the vacuum on it and went to the bag, this is just 
it's always there. It's just easy to grab and go for so many things. But to get a really clean, accurate crosscut, what do I do? That's where this comes in. Another tool, obviously I'm always gonna have one of my tracks out, usually three, put them down there. And then I have my um, square, my TSO square. And there you go. So my wider stuff, I'm back to the material of stationary and I'm moving the saw across the material. So I've got a lot of control, very accurate and quick, and I can do a lot wider stuff. Even with the short track, you know, with, with this, I am gonna be limited. I've got it pretty wide, but you can't really do a great job pulling it back that far. You know, you start to, it starts to get tippy, and then if you've got a, a longer piece of material that you're cross-cutting, now I've got the support of the bench, and so the material isn't moving, it's very well supported, and I can move this cut to wherever I need it, and I get a perfect square. I don't have to check square with this, uh, the, the guide rail square. It's, you know, I trust it, I've been using it for a long time. So I've got that clean cross cut. I've got uh, the track has the chip guard on it, and then there's the chip guard on the saw. I'm as accurate, I think more so, because I'm, you know, I've got a really refined tool here that's designed for accuracy. And I can make a clean cut on as wide material as I need. I can easily, with a different track, I can easily cross cut a full sheet of plywood, 48 inches. Can't do that here. Now, what about the depth? Again, when you're cross cutting, you don't always want to cut all the way through. Sometimes you're wanting to cut partially through. Well, same thing. There's just, there's a beautiful little scale and a dial right there. What is the remodel to this that I promised early on that was kind of different and might surprise you? And that is, I'm gonna cut this up into little pieces and use it for something else. I'm not saying this solution will be for everybody, but I wanted to share my thoughts just so you could apply it to your crosscut sled or maybe some other tool or jig or system that's taking up space. Do you really need it? Do you have alternatives that can equal it or maybe even do better? If you enjoy these tips, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the channel with somebody you know. Aloha Nui Loa.